Hello everybody. Welcome to Principal Fishing. I've got my panfish tackle box here, and I'm going to tell you my favorite lures for sunfish. One. First up, curly tail grubs. We've got the B&M, white and chartreuse. We've got the small grubs between like one and one and a half inches. And we've got the cream tricolor grubs. And I'm going to show you right now the weights that I would use for grubs. Jig heads, um, 132nd ounce, 116th ounce, and 18th ounce. I also have these swim baits that are about one quarter ounce, and they catch bass, crappie, and giant sunfish. I've caught bluegill and green sunfish in the one and a half to two pound range on this bad boy. They're they're killer. They sell them at Bass Pro, I believe. All right, now I'm going to show you how to rig a grub. I would rig it with the tail tip facing down, not up, because sometimes I've noticed that if you face it up, it'll knock against the hook and it'll mess up the action. I'm going to face it down, and then I'm going to see where the hook pops through. It's going to pop out about right there, and sometimes, if I need to, I'm just going to put a small, tiny hook mark on where the hook's going to come out, so I know. About right there. I'm going to focus on that point. I'm going to slide it through. This is an easy bait that will catch you every species of fish, be it catfish, walleye, sunfish, crappie, and bass. Seen my little sister catch like a two pound bass on one of these things. And now you've got it rigged. Should catch about anything. I've caught gar on them in the white color over here. I saw them surfacing on a creek and I just casted right over their face. They slaughtered it. I caught three. Three back to back casts. Two. Two baits. We got the Crappie Max Squirm and Squirt, smaller ones. Then we got the Johnson Crappie Buster Tubes. Now, this color, especially, I've caught um, big crappie on. I found several schools of big crappie with the pumpkin seed and chartreuse color. They slaughtered it. Fish ranging from like 7 inch crappie to 12 inch crappie. I've caught several big sunfish on these as well. I guarantee you if you bounce these or these small crappie max ones down in between the rocks, you'll slaughter those green sunfish. Just ask the cameraman. We've caught several under rocks at our local lake yep. uh, just bouncing them around when the crappie aren't biting. Yes. They, they slaughter anything. And uh, my favorite jig heads to use for these or 132nd ounce, especially for these smaller squirm and squirts. Either uh, rig them on the outside, like this, normally, or they make special jig heads that I don't have right now. I'll probably buy them at some point. You can put them on the inside of the tubes, so it's just the tube bait. They don't see the jig head. Sometimes that helps if you're fishing for finicky fish. But yeah, these, float these under a bobber as well, and you'll get into the sunfish, I guarantee you. Next up, tinsel and marabou jigs. Originally made for trout. These little 132nd ounce jigs, they work great. Especially the tinsel ones, they give that flash and dirtier water where a lot of bluegills will hide. Under rocks around bends, around sticks, you'll find a lot of them. Especially down deep, you can use these heavier ones. There's 1 16th ounce ones that I have in my trout vest that I use for trout. The four pound test, you can catch quite a few. Next, Rebel crankbaits. The ultralight ones, especially the crawdads and the grasshoppers, I've caught so many sunfish and bluegill on them. I I can't count, honestly. Even bass will bite on these small ones, too. I've caught several two-pounders, two-and-a-half-pounders on this little guy right here. And the size up from it, the middle wee craw, 
I've caught multiple three and four pound bass on them. It, it's a great bait. It only dives to like two to four feet. I like to use them in creeks and rivers and sometimes even lakes along the shore. You'll catch those finicky fish that are looking for a nice little crustacean to munch on. The next is the humble rooster tail. You can catch anything on these. Again, a lot of these baits are multi-species baits. The fish that I have the most luck on with these rooster tails has got to be sm smaller bluegill and even the bigger bluegill will bite on these. I also catch some nice smallmouth and some decent largemouth on these too. Crappie will bite on them too, but I've had the most luck on sunfish with, with them. Uh, the weight is 132nd ounce with a gold blade. Uh, trout love these as well. Like, they love them. I don't know how many trout and panfish that I've caught with rooster tails, but they catch a lot. Alright, next we got hooks. Uh, I like to use these Aberdeen hooks. You can get a nice long piece of worm up there from the hook shank all the way up to there. I also like these really small hooks. They get into the panfish's mouth nice and good, especially those smaller bluegill, and they'll steal your bait. That's because your hook is too big. Hooks like these, I would say they're too big, but for fish like crappie, catfish, bass, and even green sunfish, they'll still get hooked on these. But small, regular bluegill, I wouldn't try it with them. All right, next we got bobbers. Uh, I really like this style of bobber because they're on the line nice and... That was a bit of a fumble. I'm sorry. I suck at holding things. They got this nice, thill panfish bobber. It's a nice, easy to see. They got that nice blaze orange at the top, so you can even see it at night in some cases. If the moon's out, you'll be able to see it. And these smaller sizes, they go down easier, say... A teeny little bluegill is nibbling down at the hook down here, right? And just boop, boop. It's going to detect those smaller bites because of its size. And then there's bobbers like these. They've got a weighted bottom. I like using them in creeks because they're heavier. I get a longer cast. Um, also, with that current, it's harder to tell if you use a bobber like this. I do like to use these in creeks. But one of the things is... You see that? The spring is really tough to push. Sometimes you'll get it that in these bobbers, but sometimes the hooks don't go out all the way. It's easy to get a faulty bobber like this. And then there's its cousin, the ball one. This one, it it's my crappy one, alright? It's deformed, it's the last one I have. I need to buy more. Yeah, the spring, it still works, but it's probably got a hole in it somewhere. So if it's like as beat up as this, I probably wouldn't use it, but it's still a good bobber, but in my opinion, it's too heavy for fish like bluegill. I'd use this more for bass or crappie with like a live minnow under it, you know? Sorry for that burp, excuse me. And uh, that's it for bobbers. All right, next we got weights, split shot. Uh, I bought these neon ones at a small gas station near a lake I was camping at because I was out of split shot. It's these neon ones. The pack said, uh, attracts fish. Um, I didn't really buy it because it said that. I bought it because I was out of split shot and these were the only ones they had. I was like, screw it, I'll try them. I am not joking. They work. Like, actually, they actually work. Like, I saw... These bluegill, like nice bluegill, like within the like three quarter, one pound range, they would come at it like a thousand miles per hour, bite the weight, and then they would smell the worm and then go down and eat the worm. I'm not joking. These actually work. Then you got the generic uh, lead ones, unpainted. They work nice and good. And because they're not painted, usually they'll weigh more. Um, Just... The painted ones are usually smaller, don't know why, but they are, but these are just more thicker, and, uh, that was a grammar mistake, I said more thicker, it's thicker, I'm sorry, 
but um they're just nice and thick they clip onto the line nice and good uh, you can use them for catfish too if you put on several next panfish assassins they're great i have caught so many sizable crappie and bluegill on these they're no joke i've caught bass on them as well and i've had even catfish bite them like they're great these small panfish assassins they're the perfect color of a minnow. They're a perfect small shad imitator. Uh, my favorite size jig head to put on them is about a 132nd ounce jig head. They're the perfect size for them. And I'd pair it with like two pound test line monofilament to like six pound at the heaviest. Not very heavy line. They're perfect. You can even put them under a bobber in some creeks and even even ponds and lakes. And you can slay the crappie and small sunfish. Alright, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you're watching this just to gain knowledge, I'd suggest subscribing, you know, dropping a like. Because I'm going to be making a lot more videos like this in the future. Remember... Dutch is watching you. He knows who isn't subscribed or who hasn't liked. Can you say no to that adorable little sausage doggy face? No, you can't. So please subscribe. I'm just starting out, you know. I'm I'm just I'm just trying to get it started, man. Uh have a good day and good luck fishing.